Hi, this is Heather from Heather's Michigan Garden, and I'm standing in our soon-to-be new flower uh, bed that we're creating. Um, a lot of the flowers that are going to go into this flower bed are actually going to be transplanted from my front flower bed. I filled my front flower bed because all my um, hydrangeas were really small when I initially planted them. So I filled it up with some perennials to help with um, some more extra color and um, helping with weeds. And um, plus I just like the, <laughs> the flowers. So anyway, it's getting crowded in my um, other flower bed with all my hydrangeas now that they're getting bigger. So I'm gonna create a new flower bed um, here and transplant those. But I do have a couple new additions. Um, I have these two new hydrangeas that I did not have. And these are the puffer fish hydrangeas from uh, Proven Winners. And um, these get three to five feet tall and wide. And they um, like full sun to part shade. So they bloom white um, blooms. You can see on the tag. I'll move the tag up a little closer so you can take a look at that. And I guess um, when they bloom, they'll on the top of them will get like a little, I don't know what you even call it, just a little extra little stem on the top of the blooms. And I guess that's how it got the name puffer fish. So I'm looking forward to getting these planted in the ground and getting the rest of the grass pulled up out of this flower bed. We already have it edged out, so we have this shape. So it's gonna create a nice little walkway um, between my cone flowers that I have planted and my wedding garden. So I just wanna give you an update on my new puffer fish hydrangeas. And I do have another hydrangea as well that my husband really wanted to get and I will update you on that. That will probably also be coming into this um, flower bed as well. So that is um, what's going on here in Heather's Michigan Garden. Thanks for watching.